Hello and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, I'm Nurse Alyssa and today I'm going to be doing a quick mind map of varicose veins. So I've been doing these mind maps to kind of put the meat and potatoes, what you need to know um, for nursing students and nurses, um, just because we don't have a lot of time. So all the information just in one place. Now it's not crazy detailed, but it gives you the information and a review of the topic that you need. Um, so if you haven't done so already, please do subscribe because I do have lots of these mind maps coming out. And if you are looking to print them all off, all the different mind maps that I do have, you can check out in my description and I have a link to my Etsy store where you can print them all out. Um, so let's get started. So varicose veins, what is it? So it's swollen or enlarged veins. Usually they're blue or dark purple. Um, they usually occur on the legs um, and they may appear lumpy, bulging, or twisted. Now, what are some of the signs and symptoms that a patient may experience with varicose veins? So they may have aching or heavy, uncomfortable legs, swollen feet or ankles, burning or throbbing in the legs, muscle cramps, particularly at night, dry, itchy, thin skin over the affected veins. Now, what are the causes of varicose veins? So varicose veins are usually caused by weakened vein walls or valves. And I'll just kind of go over what increases your risk. So age, gender, genetics, being overweight, an occupation, being pregnant, um, and other conditions. So if you're sitting or standing for a long period of time, you know, it can cause you to get varicose veins. Now, it's normally diagnosed through just a visual assessment by your general practitioner and treatment for the most part, varicose veins that don't present a serious health problem. Um, they may have an unpleasant appearance, but it shouldn't affect circulation or cause really any long-term health problems. Now, we can use compression stockings, re um, regular exercise, avoid standing or sitting for long periods of time, and elevate the affected area when you're resting, okay? Now, there are some surgical treatments that they can do if it's necessary, um, such as endothermal ablation, sclerotherapy, and ligation and stripping of the veins. Now, we do want to prevent varicose veins, okay? Prevention is always over cure. If we don't have to have a condition, it's better, right? So prevention. We want to avoid sitting or standing for long periods of times. We want to make sure that we are exercising um, regularly and wear compression stockings, okay? If you're noticing that your legs are starting to swell, um, holding a little bit of fluid in there, we want to make sure that we start wearing compression stockings. You always want to talk to your doctor about this first so they can test your legs to make sure that they can withstand compression and what strength compression stockings that you need. So I hope this video, this mind map, it did give you a better idea of varicose veins, whether you're using it in the field or to use it as a study tool. I hope it did help and I hope to catch you in my next one. Bye for now.